Well, my name is Inver Brenton, and the reason I'm here really is to honor my mother, Cornelia Brierly, who was one of the early pioneers, came here in the 30s with Frank Lloyd Wright and was one of his students. And both of my parents were actually apprentices of Frank Lloyd Wright. Mother came in 34, Cornelia Brierly, and my father, Peter Bernson, came in 1938. And so my sister and I were actually here as small children. And uh, after being a student for several years, I was made a staff member. And then soon after that, after working with Ivana Lloyd Wright, who was, lived in this sun cottage and was a dancer and a choreographer, um, I uh, started working with William Wesley Peters, Mr. Wright's son-in-law, just in the secretarial mode, and then finally started working in the archives with Bruce Brooks Pfeiffer. And there, it's there that I've done a lot of oral histories and continue to work to this day. They came in 1937, 38, uh, to Taliesin, um, to create Taliesin. And here, the back wheels are on Shea Boulevard, which was just a grassy stretch at that time. <laughs> and as you can see, they had the steak truck and they had a lot of little caravan cars. And then this was the first structure that they built in one of our first washes out here. And they had, part of it was drafting room and part of it was a place for eating and, and so on and so forth. And then everybody had their sleeping bags and uh, just, you know, slept out on the desert. Mr. Wright had come to the state land department after looking all over the desert. And he finally found this place and he called it a look over the rim of the world at the base of the McDowell Mountains. And so he brought all of this group out here and they started building Taliesin West. And my mother wrote something about it and she wrote the following about the early days at Taliesin before it was, there were any buildings built. And so she said, we came up to, into the desert with sleeping bags. And of course there was nothing here. It was virgin territory. There was nothing for miles around. And we spread out over the desert in our sleeping bags. Then we immediately began to build this lean-to in the first big wash. And this lean-to on the left-hand side held the kerosene two-burner stove. And in the center, we had some tables built of rough planks. And in the right-hand end of the building, there was a drawing board where Jack Howe, who was one of Mr. Wright's draftsmen, worked on all the drawings that Mr. Wright had been, was designing for Taliesin West. And we dug a hole in the opposite side of the wash where we kept our perishable things because at least that way they were in the shade. And that's how we managed. We had to haul the water for about seven miles to bring water up at that time. Later, Mr. Wright was able to establish a well because he was sure there was going to be water at the base of the mountains, although many people told him there wouldn't be. And we first came here when we first came here, there were many wild animals. There were mountain lions that came down and drank at our pools after we had the pools. There were deer, there were javelina, there were wild burros and wild horses. We also encountered a lot of animals in our sleeping quarters. There were many pack rats that used to come and steal our earrings and leave a pebble in their place. And then they'd take the jewelry out into their nest in a pile of choya balls. And if you wanted to find your earring, you had to go through some pretty prickly choya to find it. There were also skunks, and we used to have to shake out our sleeping bags every night because there were so many scorpions. And of course, we were always afraid that there might be a rattlesnake. So we were very careful about that, and luckily we didn't have any troubles. The men did the heavy construction, and this was all built with one little uh, concrete mixer. Uh, women generally did things like stretch the canvas on frames, which became the roofs of the buildings. And they did upholstering and curtain making and bedspread making and cooking and just all kinds of things, model making. All ki so, but they did have a lot of fun. They really enjoyed it because the Wrights had such an energetic spirit. They were very charismatic. And so everybody really loved it in spite of the hardships they had to encounter. Sometimes they'd have to go into, well, once a week they'd go into the YMCA to get a shower, but by the time they came back in their dusty old truck, they were already dusty again. <laughs> so, um, but they went on, they had lots of picnics and parties and excursions into the desert, 
And so they had a really good time 